Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing a 10 days reading starting from the 10th of June till the 20th June. This is going to be for the sign of Gemini. So let's see what's coming up for Gemini's for the uh, for these 10 days of June, uh, starting from the 10th June till the 20th June. Uh, I will be putting just two cards. So let's see what's coming up for the Gemini's for these 10 days um, because I'm recording this video on the 8th of June be mindful of uh, you know the fact that for some of you you might be already you know receiving these energies uh, starting from this weekend already so it's like just pick up the energies that resonates with you leave the rest and let's see what's going on for Gemini's for these 10 days 10 of swords and then the knight of swords okay <clears throat> and at the bottom of the deck you have the six of wands <clears throat> hmm. I don't know why I'm picking up the energies of being hurt really bad. Um, I didn't do I didn't do your uh, June reading. Uh, in fact, I did just three reading for the month of June, or maybe yeah, just three readings: a uh, Pisces, Scorpio, and. Uh, um, I think Sagittarius I did. I don't remember exactly. But um, I don't know what you've been, you know, what, what's coming up for you in the remaining month of uh, June. But for these 10 days, it's going to be very, um, I don't know, I'm picking up very um, disturbing energies here. It's, it's like you ended something and you are rushing back to that you know ending again it's like you are unable to move ahead and you are going back to that part and you are just you know with the six of wands here i do feel like once you were um happy and it's like you know you, you need to it's like you are walking back to this hurt to be here where you once were and this is not how it will work don't do that don't do that don't go there it's it's like i don't know what you're going through right now and i would like to know what 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 is it that is making you feel this bad and you know it's like i don't know why i why i'm picking up the energy of you've been crying a lot because you know it has been very uh, disturbing for you and it has been very painful this ending that you had and you are missing the past you are missing this sharing the cup of love with this person and it's like there was so much love but something happened something really happened which left you in a position where you are like you know uh, I don't know why I'm picking up this energy it's like let me clarify here with the I would like to clarify the six of wands first because I want to see if this is something because right now like I uh, like I explained uh, to you already uh, for me right now it's it's more like you know you want to rush back to this happy uh, happy happy time that you had with this person and it cannot be achieved this this thing is you know this has been there and it's like you are done with it now things turned very bad and it's finished now it's like you know it's done forever so don't um don't go back to this person for all this because this cannot be achieved with this i would still like to take the clarify for the six of wands what the six of wands is all about is it coming in your future or it's just that you are going back to your past you want to it's it's more like you are missing your past and you just wish you could go back which i don't see can happen now it's it because it's it's ended it's like it's it's done it's finished don't you know whatever the good thing that you had with this person it's you know it's it's more like you know something is killed it was not meant to end but it was killed it was killed by the rude harsh words it's it's so uh, disturbing right now seriously it is getting me disturbed 
it's the energies these cards are having i wish you i wish you you know peace happiness and um uh, i don't know it's it's too disturbing let me clarify the six of wands here why this all ended why this good part ended <clears throat> Five, the six of wands. Is it coming in your life, or it has been in your life? Is it coming in your life, or it has been in your life? I don't know why I'm picking up the energies that um, if if you choose to go back to this person, it's it's like if you choose to go back to this person, you can go back to them, but. Um, Things will not go as smooth as they might seem right now. Because it's it's like, you know, you will keep on having the fight with them. They will keep on, um, or you will keep on having the fight with them because it's a general reading. It may be you are doing this to the other person or that other person is doing this to you. It's like, it's like you know, a pull and push kind of a thing. I feel like you love each other too much. But then when you fight, you just just you know uh, go so rude to each other that it's it's like you know you can kill them with your words it's that kind of a thing and then comes your immaturity when it comes to your love towards them you love them very passionately and then you can go very harsh to them and it's like it's too harsh it's too you know rude that it can literally kill them from inside it's it's you know that kind of hurtful to them and when you start talking to this person again, you are also good as if nothing happened. But if you choose to go back to this person, be ready to face this situation again and again because this person will not change. Neither you will change. And you will keep on having this... Um, you will keep on having this back and forth or you know, you will repeat having this situation with this person. One time you're also happy and the other time you will all you will be all so um you know so hurtful and so painful with this person. And then when you are uh back together, it's like it's like you are holding each other so tightly and you don't want to let them go and you don't want um it's like you fight then you love each other so uh, like crazy and then you fight and then you do the same again and um, it's like I don't know why do you do that 
for some of you maybe there is some money issues involved and that is the reason why you kind of have this fight with this person and that's and i do feel like uh, maybe a third party situation is involved it can be somebody you know it it doesn't you know have to be somebody who is uh, you know um you know involved in a relationship one person is involved in a relationship with the other it's it's more like you know um interference of somebody in your life that leads to this fight it's like you know you both are happy together but somebody intervene in your life and that that makes the situation worse for you because um it's it's more like you know it's it's more like if you are alone like you know if you're if you are together and there is no third person involved in the situation things will be going also fine and for some of you i do feel like the money is the reason is one of the reason why things are you know um the do do get um do get um, worse here and for for some of you i do pick up the energies of uh, being addicted to some you know uh, some drugs or something because uh when when you know when the other person stops you it's like you know you fight with them if and you don't realize at that moment that you know this person loves you so much and they want they don't want to lose you that's why they are stopping you from being in this addiction um maybe that's the reason why you ask them to pay you the money but you know it's it's like you don't want them to ruin their life and that's why they you want to you know uh you want to hold them tight and you don't want them to uh go for these addictions and it's like maybe that's the reason uh you have a fight over uh with this person or if it's not uh, if if this person who is addicted to something is not uh, uh anyone of you two then it is the person that is involved in the situation it's like you know uh, like i just mentioned that th there is somebody else in your life which is the reason why you fight it's like you know you love each other so madly i do see it with these cards like you you have fight with this person because of this other person that is involved in the situation it could be from the girl side it could be from the boy side you know it it since it's a general reading those are the energies that i'm picking up you love each other so much so don't let any situation involving the third person intervene in your personal life and spoil it for you because you know and be mindful of that that the person who is stopping you to give them money to buy the drugs or to to you know, to feed their addiction they they are doing it for their better like you know they they don't want them to ruin their life and that's why they that's the only reason they stop you from helping them uh financially so don't fight over these things because because you love each other so much don't do that because it's like you know if you keep on doing this again and again situation will turn bad don't uh spoil your relationship because of some other person involved so yeah just just be mindful of that don't uh fight um and try to resolve the matter uh, with discussion not fighting over things don't uh, don't fight and keep it positive and because this is not a good thing to be in when you fight with this person it's it's kind of um, torturing both of you equally and then you want to rush back to them because you love them so ba so bad and still it's 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 like it's like you cannot resist each other you love each other so much then why do you let the third person come enter uh, come in between you two don't do that don't let anybody involve in your um in your situation to spoil your relationship don't 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 allow anybody to and to intervene in your life that way because it's it's like you know it's it's like I don't know. Maybe the other person who is addicted or who needs financial help is too close to one of you. Um that you cannot leave them, neither you can leave each other. It's it's kind of maybe they are your, you know, father, parents or uh, you know, sorry, uh, parents or your siblings or somebody like too close to you. But it's like, you know, don't spoil your relationship with your husband and wife or a husband or wife or, you know, girlfriend boyfriend. uh because of that person involved so be mindful of that stay positive don't fight don't um um try to resolve the matter with the discussion 
so that's pretty much it um i will see you next time with the 20th till 30th or whatever the last date of june is uh, in that reading so if the reading resonated with you do like subscribe and share uh, till the next time take care and bye bye